Technician A says Tinnerman nuts used to hold the brake drum on should be reinstalled. Technician B says a drum should be removed inside a sealed vacuum enclosure or washed with water or solvent to prevent possible asbestos dust from being released into the air. Who is right? B only. This is a mandated practice to prevent exposure to asbestos. Technician A is wrong because new vehicles have thinner mid nuts clips. Also called speed nuts. On the stud when the vehicle is being assembled. These thin sheet metal nuts keep the brake drum from falling off during shipping and handling prior to installation of the rear wheels. The thinner mid nuts can be discarded because they are not needed after the vehicle leaves the assembly plant. A vehicle with disc drum brakes requires excessive brake pedal effort to stop. The brake pedal is firm when applied. While starting the engine with the brakes applied, the pedal does not go down slightly. Technician A says excessive brake pedal free play could be the cause. Technician B says air trapped in the hydraulic system could be the cause. Who is right? Neither A nor B both technicians are wrong because the problem is in the power booster. Excessive free play delays application and air in the hydraulic system will cause a spongy pedal. Technician A says the threads and end caps of the adjusters should be lubricated with lithium grease before being installed. Technician B says star wheel adjusters use the same threads for the left and right sides of the vehicle. Who is right? Of only. Technician A is right because the adjusters should be lubricated with synthetic brake grease. Lithium brake grease or anti-seize compound before being installed. Technician B is wrong because star wheel adjusters use different threads left and right handed for the left and right sides of the vehicle. The drum brake linings should be at what measurement above the pad backing plate or rivet heads? Zero point zero five zero in one point three millimeters. The current industry standard dimension is zero point zero five zero in one point three millimeters. Two technicians are describing the replacement of the rear drum brake linings. Technician A says you should hone the wheel cylinder after replacing the wheel cylinder seals. Technician B says you clean and lube the backing plate, install shoes and hold down springs, self-adjuster mechanism and return springs. Who is right?
only. Only technician B is correct. It is the standard procedure used for lining replacement. Technician A is wrong because many wheel cylinders now use a barangized surface which would be removed if honed. The brake drum discard diameter is stamped are cast into the drum. When manufactured, brake drums are made thick enough to allow for a certain amount of wear and machining. However, there is a limit to how much metal can be worn or machined off a drum. Most brake drums are allowed to be oversized. 060N 1 mm. However, this limit may vary. The oversize limit is usually stamped on the face of the brake drum or in the vehicle service manual. To determine the drum size, use a brake drum micrometer. The drum size must never exceed the specified limit doing so could lead to a catastrophic failure.